Hey there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and I'm going to show you something new about Windows Phone 8. Let's check it out. Alright, in this video, we're going to take a look at Bing, Local Scout, and Maps. So, first off, we're going to go to Bing, search, and there's the search button. Uh, just like usual, uh, a couple little things have changed. The uh, microphone is up here now instead of down there. We still have the music search and Bing Vision. But here's something new. Look at that little thing sticking out over there. We have a panoramic design on the Bing app. So this will show different data. There's a movie, and you can see more movies. In the cinema, it's going to load. And over here we have uh, local deals. The, the order of these panes seems to change uh, sometimes. So there's uh, something I might want to buy nearby. Here's the uh, videos, interesting videos you might want to see. And there's top headlines for the news. We can load more news and uh, pretty easily see that. And then we're back to the beginning. Now there's something else cool is the search uh, has some new features. Let's try voice search. Jessica Alba. So that works pretty quickly. We have a, the usual link to uh, IMDB, and we have local, nothing there. But here's something good, media. And look at this, we have videos. So I can see videos, and here's some more. It's going to load. Lots of videos. And all of these actually work on a Windows phone. Uh, let's try that one. And what it does is it actually goes to a mobile site. So there's Daily Motion. And you can play that pretty easily. And here's the images. This has been upgraded as well. Remember on uh, Windows Phone 7.5, you, you couldn't even zoom in on these pictures. It was basically all you could see was this tiny little thing. But now we can zoom and pan. And uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't scroll through them either. But now we have a film strip view. And we can even do it in landscape. You can save the picture or set it as your lock screen. Now, if you're in the movies, here's a, a movie that I pinned to the start screen. We see related. Here's a new feature that's pretty cool. It's called Buzz, it's the Buzz panel. And right up top, we have a graph of uh, what percentage of the expert reviews really like this movie. So Taken 2 is a 46.8%. And we see all the reviews. There's links here. So we can really easily click and read more about the movie. And we even have user reviews. So 90.5% of the people who saw this movie really liked it. And you can read more reviews there. Of course, there's show times too and there's apps. So I can go to MSN Movies to buy tickets or I can go to IMDB and uh, learn more about this movie. So it's going to run a search and there it is. So let's get back to uh, Local Scout this time. And it looks pretty much the same as before. There's your food, there's your see and do, there's shopping. Here's a new feature. It's called For You, and this lists things that uh, Bing thinks you would like based on your Foursquare account and your Microsoft account with uh, Bing search history if you allow it to use those things. So I did allow it, and we can see some of my friends uh, like this place. It lists their names there, and we see how many people checked into that place. We see Victoria Venuti likes Venuti's delicatessen, maybe because she's related. And uh, if you see something that you don't like, you can check it off and you can say dislike. So that will help teach uh, Bing and Local Scout about the things that you like or, not, or don't like. Back here, we have some crazy new options for filtering. So I can sort by distance, or rating, or suggestion. 
but I can also show what is open now and what is open what is offering a deal and we have all sorts of other filtering options here but those two top ones are uh, pretty interesting so these are new Nokia maps and we have the usual buttons at the bottom the find me the directions uh, one thing about directions is there's no longer the tap the screen to uh, pronounce the instruction you won't be able to hear the next instruction anymore however if we go to a location there's going to be a drive button there it is and with this you can uh, put that address into a GPS navigation program however I don't have any yet and there aren't any available in the store yet because it's not released. Now you also see buzz for the uh, locations here. Uh, this is going to get stuff out of Twitter, see who's talking about the location whatnot. Of course there's apps as well. And another big thing is in the settings we can download maps. There's also check for updates in case there were uh, some changes made to the maps. So I can download the maps for offline usage without having to be connected. I've already downloaded New York. And to choose new ones, I just press add. And then I can choose whatever countries I want and whatever states. And you see we have a lot of options. So that's a quick look at some of the new features in Bing, Local Scout, and maps on Windows Phone 8. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.